Karen aka Strawberry Chan and I'm back with another video. So today I thought I would do a little bit of uh, something interesting. I like really doing these like tag videos because I feel like and like we find out a little bit more about each other. I've got my cool ring on. It's a bat. Hi. Very close up on my face. I thought I would do the alternative girl tag. Now I did this like ages ago but I think I might have deleted the video because it just didn't look right or I had weird makeup or something so I thought I would do like an updated version of it because the last time I did it I think like was like when my channel was really fresh and I think I might have deleted it um but I've changed there's a lot of updates like, and I have tattoos and piercings and I do go a little bit into that in this tag so if you want to stay let's go there are seven questions um and I haven't wrote down answers so these are all gonna be hi up the cuff so yeah, I might take this jacket off. I do love it, but it's like really tight on my arms. Like, I'm just gonna take it off for a bit. Hi, very close up on my face. Ah, oh, there we go. So a bit more chilled and relaxed now. So question one is describe your style. So my style is a little bit all over the place. Like, I, I identify as goth alternative, but I, you know, some days I like dressing a little bit like casual. Um, some days I like to be extra. Like, but I'd mostly wear a lot of black. I would say it's like mermaid unicorn rock star. Yeah, I would say that. Mermaid unicorn rock star? Yeah, I would say that. Mixed with a little bit of stripper. So mermaid unicorn rock star stripper. Then four words. Oh, with a little bit of vampire in which. So it would be mermaid unicorn vampire rock star witch. Yeah, so that's my style summed up for you. Question two, how did you start wearing different clothes, hair and piercings, etc. So I started dressing differently when I was in um, secondary school. Like on non-uniform days, I would wear like just crazy clothes. I had, I bought my first like goth hoodie when I was seven in a shop um, that's no longer there uh, open anymore, which is really sad because I used to like those called Katmandu. And I bought my first hoodie there when I was seven. It was a Lincoln Park hoodie. And then like I've just always loved alternative fashion. I used to do like my makeup for school very easy. <laughs> I mean like I used to just put black on my eyes and then I would have a little bit of that weird moussey foundation on and then I wouldn't put anything on my lips. I would just like have them bare. So I was a very weird looking girl. But you know on your uniform day I would go full extra like black lips, black, you know, you know, because I want to be like total goth queen realness. Um <coughs> I'm still dying from this fucking car. Do your parents accept your style? Of course they do. I feel like you've got to give your children a chance to express themselves, whether it be music or fashion or whatever. Because like my parents were quite open with me trying new things because they were goth and alternative in their youth. So they like you know, they like me being unique and different. I think they would love me if I dressed normal anyway. But I like to be different and they've never said anything bad about like what I wear or how I do my hair or my tattoos or my piercings. Um, no, they've been really chill. My parents are quite chill with like anything. Like I've been through so many fashion phases. They're just kind of used to my craziness now. Like one day I'll be like head to toe in glitter pastel realness and then the next day I'll be like a goth queen. <laughs> so you know I'm all about extra fashion and when I was in Japan I was all about they were just blinded by how many looks I went through in 10 days have you ever suffered bullying for being different yes I have I've always been like looked at or stared at or shouted at for being a little bit different I remember like I wore this suspender belt with this really cute little sort of leather skirt for like college one day and everyone was just like what are you wearing like oh my god but the thing is, people who have the bit, the people who have the biggest beef with me are hair and beauty students um, in college. Like I don't know, hair and beauty students just don't really like me. Um, I've always had bad experiences with them. Like they'll make bath noises, they'll pretend to be sick, um, and laugh. And I think one time my boyfriend actually told them to fuck themselves. I wasn't even dressed that crazy as well. I just had like a shirt on, quite similar to this. I think I had green hair at the time and like I had just a pair of knee socks, shorts and a pair of like and some fishnets and it's just like really sis, you know you can tell they're fresh from college, high school but yeah my boyfriend proper destroyed them was like yeah you're only popular because you know you fucked everyone in your class and I was like okay boob like calm your tits but 
yeah, I've been bullied a lot. Um, I've been bullied really bad in school, but you know, you can't let that stuff get you. School isn't everything, and you will get out of it eventually, and you know, just tell the bullies to fuck off. I always tell the bullies to fuck off. Like, I always, like, if I get, like, when I was, like, getting bullied, I used to, I was quite shy, and I didn't have the sort of personality I have now. I was very close, I was a very close person, but now if anyone tells me I'm fat or ugly or whatever, I'd say it something right away back. What was the most outrageous look you've ever had? Okay, so I've had quite a few outrageous looks. Um, we'll go through them. I think my favourite three. We'll do my favourite three. So I was in a drag show. Yes, I was in Drag Idol. And this isn't so much an outfit. This was so much a makeup that I did. And I wanted to do this half sort of anime girl, half galaxy sort of thing. Like on my chest, down my face and it looked crazy. I'll put a photo here. Yeah, it looked really crazy. My face was so sore afterwards. I had to like scrub my face because this face paint I got was really dry. I had to do so much blending. I had like blue eyeshadow dust all over my floor. Uh, my parents were not impressed, but like, hey, I looked cool. I mean, I didn't, my, sh my performance wasn't great because like I didn't, I was kind of nervous, but they said my makeup was on point, so I'll take that. Um, another thing, my, one of my favourite outfits is one I wore to see Kiari Pamu Pamu, which is a Japanese pop star. I wore this, fuck, I wore this skirt. Um, I made, um, I got a blank pink tutu and I just decorated it with pom-poms and the glue stunk. I'm surprised I wasn't high from the glue. It was just really powerful. and. I would just go at Hobbycraft every like two days and just get loads of pom poms and just go crazy with it. I had so many people come up to me at the concert and be like, oh my god, like where did you get it? I was like, bitch, I made it. I mean, I'm not like a fashion making queen, like I can't make like a dress or a skirt, but I like to like embroider and put things on stuff like I like to put pom poms on a skirt or patches on a jacket. But apart from that, I am not like, I can't design like an actual garment, I'm sorry. Um. What's my other favourite look? There's been a lot of favourite looks. There's been a lot of crazy outfits I've wore. Um, but they're the ones I can think of, only if you can think of at the minute. It is, do you have any piercings or tattoos? Well, I actually do have a lot of tattoos. I have um, my arm here, which is a lot of tattoos. I also have a lot of, I have one here. I have a lot of tattoos. I'm getting my next one in August, which is going on my leg. I can't wait to get it done this BDSM snow white tattoo which I'm getting on like my leg this leg here on this side so I can't wait to see that but yeah I used to have a lot of piercings but I took them out because they're just a dick to sleep with and put makeup on with like I had my bridge done I had there I had all my lips done and it was just a pain in the ass I had to take them out because they were just like it was weird seeing my face without metal for like five years I was just like oh my god is this what my face actually looks like yeah if you can hear like hoovering in the background it's just uh, my dad he's hoovering at the minute what would you say to people who are suffering or being judged for the way they look right now basically I would just say fuck them <laughs> like fuck whoever like gives you shit be proud of yourself whether it doesn't matter if you're black white gay straight um it doesn't matter like if you want to be alternative, kawaii, whatever fashion you want to go, do it. Because you know there's too many normal Nancys in the world that will like, <laughs> that will judge you for what you are. And you know you don't have to worry about them. Like school comes, school goes, and then you're like free of them. You can just go adios bitch and then you just wear like whatever you want. And that's how it should be. Like you should be proud of like what you are on to be. Like you know I've had, I reserved a lot of my looks. Um, just to appease friends and now I've got rid of those friends I'm just like I feel like I am one with myself and I can be like who I am and stuff because you know you should be proud of being what you are and you shouldn't let people control you and if you want to be spooky be spooky if you want to be kawaii be kawaii if you just want to dress in a pink dinosaur onesie go it I will support you because this channel is all about supporting everyone's fashion and supporting everyone on the channel. So yeah, that's my, that's the tea. <laughs>
That's the tea. But yeah, guys, uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. That would be awesome. If you do love it, please subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, and if you don't like the video, poo you. Why watching the video? Go eat Pocky and smile. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. It's coming out soon, so I'll see you in a bit.